Hey guys, welcome. This is a uh, general reading for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, welcome cross watchers. And if you're brand new to the channel, glad to have you. Pop in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from if you're new. Um, or, you know, just to say hello. I always circle back around in the evening and I come in and say a proper hello and respond to your comments. So don't be shy. Um, I hold them all back until I'm ready to look at, look through them, and then I reply. So, I'm um, pulling from Whispers of Love. It's a really sweet, tender little oracle deck. I figure we could all use a softer touch, this series of readings. This message for you is card 20. I love you. These are powerful words. It is actually the cover art how do you like them apples you got the cover art powerful words Oop. i love you nice place to start deep breath that felt good so I'm gonna pull the main spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. Do keep in mind it's a general reading, not a private reading. So it may or may not resonate. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. If you are interested in a private reading, a link to my booking page is below. So that will take you to all the necessary information. Yeah, all right, here we go. Overall energy here, we're opening with the Eight of Swords and what's blocking you here, King of Wands. So there may be, um, like you may be feeling, you may be second guessing yourself, feeling a little stuck with regard to someone's interest, right? Sometimes this King of Wands shows up as uh, like an unavailable lover, someone who it's like, are they interested? Are they not interested? Um, in your unconscious awareness, seeing this person as possibly the love of your life, um, maybe the one, this is a powerful connection in the past. Six of Pentacles, the plot thickens, right? So we're talking about the reciprocity, the give and take. This was the theme of um, the full moon in Aquarius just a few days ago. And that that is the struggle um, or has been for many people is we can feel this powerful connection, but if we don't have some, some kind of investment, mutual investment that is reciprocated, it doesn't go anywhere. It's, 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 it can be very difficult. And that's why I think we're in that eight of swords energy. Yes. Divine feminine in your conscious awareness coming from the highest version of yourself, being open and receptive. Because if you're in that eight of swords and you might be struggling with what's my next best step, you're in this thought process, right? Swords, thoughts, perceptions, communications. But if you're stuck, you're trying to think your way through, um, I submit to you that the next best step is into that puddle, which would be your feelings. And this is Venus. So it's about dropping into the heart chakra and not really thinking your way through, more feeling your way through. What is your heart telling you um, is your next best step. And so it's kind of good that you're coming in your unconscious awareness to your conscious awareness to something that's telling you it's not about, uh, you, you can't game this out. It's all in how you feel go with that and then speak so there is some communication that's possibly coming up in the near future and maybe it's as simple as the powerful words I love you obviously i love you ellipsis right dot 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 and 
you know, what the struggle is, what the challenge is, what needs some attention or what your curiosities are, what's, you know, got you a little stuck. You see where I'm going. Okay. Eight of Swords, King of Wands. The Moon. Devil. Emperor. So now we have an Emperor and Empress. And we have the Ace of Cups. So ordinarily we'd say, what's the problem? We've got, oh, we've got some very beautiful energy here, but we also have an inordinate amount of fear keeping us stuck because what the challenge is, you know, crossing us here, keeping us stuck is someone isn't taking that initiative. Someone is not. Uh, right, that normally the King of Wands doesn't hesitate. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know what I'm going to say. The King of Wands mantra is, I see it, I want it, I claim it, it's mine, done. So there's obviously uh, a failure to launch on some level that's uh, got you in some degree of fear. Uh, maybe the fear of this person's intentions, maybe um living with some egoic fear and resistance of your own um the devil can be your fears it can be their fears it can be we have the moon and the devil or both cards are fear based and so nothing moves nothing changes everything stays very tight and constricted and restricted and small. Ace of Cups. Chariot. Six of Wands. Hermit. Very interesting. So it's like in your unconscious awareness, that's like your internal processing, right? What's happening in the psyche? and or playing out behind the scenes. But for you, you know, you're all ready to make some progress to meet in the middle to maybe find some compromise. Um, this, I think you're the one. Do you think I'm the one? Okay, how are we gonna move forward? What is it gonna take? Where can we meet in the middle? And the hermit is very interesting because to me, the hermit here is kind of coming through as a sense of your own inner wisdom, your own inner GPS. Um, not your intuition, that would be like high priestess energy. This, this is coming from those moments where you've really been on a solitary journey and you've learned something about yourself. And so it's like we dig deep into that inner reservoir and we're ready to access it because when we're stuck, um, we've got to access something. And that's what I think the hermit represents is that personal growth that we've, we've you know, where we've accomplished some manner of self-awareness, some uh, introspection, some... Um, some wisdom we can draw off of in those moments of uncertainty so that we can push forward instead of just kind of spinning our wheels. So that's what I think I'm seeing here in your unconscious awareness as you're processing, everything is kind of standing still. Fears are holding you, both of you back. I kind of see it as mutual. Um, could be this person's fears more than yours even because We've got the emperor underneath in the background, um, but not just fears. There could be karmic, negative karmic energy involved. Um, let's just keep going. Six of pentacles in the past. Knight of swords, the fool, six of pentacles again. So sort of like um, sandwiched in between the, you know, the whole 
um, theme of generosity, reciprocity, equal give and take, being invested. I almost feel like there's been some tense discussions uh, or about the risks involved, uh, taking a chance on this. Um, something here feels like the topic has come up and that there's been some Im impulse, um, impulsive chatter, impulsive conversations, something said maybe like, you know, just kind of came off the tongue in an impulsive moment and maybe didn't go very well. Um, wasn't well received and so here we sit no progress empress in your conscious awareness like i can almost see that conversation is like you know um it, like it's an it takes two you know and i'm carrying more than my fair share here you know whatever it is it could have happened very uh, off the cuff um yeah and it could have been about anything yes i'm seeing the tension here and it could have been about you know if you live at a distance why am i the one always traveling or if it was like why are we always at your place or why do we do you see what i'm saying it feels to me like there's a problem here with this person everything being at their convenience um or on their terms at their availability no real give and take right no real mutual yeah that's why the compromise card is here that's why the hermit the wisdom you've gained around relationships you've learned before and if we're going to make progress this is something that has to be worked out so the empress is coming through and um in your conscious awareness and we've got the eight of cups and the five of wands and underneath is the page of cups so maybe some a softer touch there seems to definitely be some conflict and the eight of cups is about you know what's not working what what needs to be left behind this tension maybe argumentativeness maybe outside source of conflict that may be setting up the situation for some of you remember it's a general so you have to take it as it resonates but i definitely feel with this page of cups underneath we're talking about sincerity what is a sincere intention whether it's a message or the intention involved and that page of cups could be coming through as an apology um, or even you processing a, a communication that is a little bit um, softer than what has happened in the past. This is pretty specific. Let's see the eight of wands in the near future. Queen of pentacles, ace of pentacles, strength card. The communication um, that I'm seeing is definitely an up-leveling. I'm seeing this very solid energy. It's definitely something that allows you to overcome any of these obstacles. You know what we've been talking about. And it does seem to kind of take things like this Queen of Pentacles energy is like that feminine archetype of a life partner but she begins really solid she starts with you know, she's not going to take any um stuff so 
it's easy to kind of come from something softer and more sincere if you're not always in defense mode, if you're not, um, you don't come from fear, you don't need to. You, it, it's like the Empress is the highest and best of all four queens. So let me start by saying that. Same with the Emperor, unless they're coming through reversed. So, but I'm seeing that act one for part one of the conversation is Queen of Pentacles coming in. And Queen of Pentacles doesn't take any crap, doesn't need to, and doesn't inspire any coming at her because she's really sure of herself. So she's grounded, she's stable, she's solid as a rock. Um, she knows her worth and value. Ding, ding, ding. And so she receives the worth and value. This Ace of Pentacles can be new beginnings, can be an up leveling, can be an offer. And that's what I think it is. I think it's the the offer that may have sort of been the subject of some tense and impulsive conversation in the past that may not have gone as well. And that's the subject of some fears at the moment. But in the near future, I feel like in Empress mode, you're kind of saying, yeah, no, I, I know what I need to leave behind. I need to leave behind the tension and the argumentativeness and the need for like, you know, getting in there and, and scrambling about it. Nope, nope, don't need to do that. I need, I need to approach this in a, a softer way, in a more, you know, compromising way. <sighs> compromising, you know what I mean. Not compromising yourself, but reaching that win-win outcome so that progress can be made from the wisdom of things I've already learned and understand about human nature. So I'm not operating from fears or any insecurities. And I think, I think it works out. It's about overcoming the obstacle. You, you set your sights on what the obstacle is. You overcome it by coming, uh, coming from something that's like solid, stable, grounded, self-assured, um, and like, you know, Queen of Pentacles presents her case. No drama mama. I like it. So that's what I'm seeing. That's a storyline that's coming through. What I'm gonna look at um, in the extended is sort of what's happening here in your connection when I pull you together, because this is sort of the overview of what's happening. What's the strength of this connection? What's the real challenge? What are the opportunities that could kind of help you work through that? What does this person, King of Wands, Emperor, what do they want you to know? What, are they, what vibe are they picking up from you? And then I'll complete this um, this spread with the message from spirit, the hidden energy and the outcome position, how things might unfold going forward. So that's what we're going to do in the extended and the links to that are below. You have a couple different options. So take a look, see, and before I say goodbye, um, if this has spoken to you, if you're like, oh my gosh, that's my story. Um, and you haven't yet already, please do subscribe below. That's how I get to stay here on this platform and um, do what I've been called to do. So thank you in advance for that. Here's the astrology that has shown up today. This is just extra added. Some people have been coming into the comments saying, is the astrology really make it, it doesn't really validate or invalidate the reading. It's just extra added for those of you who are interested to know the astrology part of it. King of Wands is associated with the sign of Leo, the moon, Pisces, the devil, Capricorn, Emperor, Aries, um, Chariot is Cancerian energy. We got some Virgo in the um, Hermit. Knight of Swords is Gemini. Fool is Uranus, which rules Aquarius. Empress, the lovely Venus, Taurus, and Libra. Page of Cups, all the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Queen of Pentacles, more Capricorn, and closing out with the Strength card, which is Leo. I am headed to the Extended. I will see you there.
in a second. Bye for now.